Hey, let's talk about the murder of Cleveland Indians baseball player Lucius Easter, otherwise known as Luke Easter. Now, Luke was, I mean, he was a big guy for his time. 6'4", 240 pounds. Played first base and right field. Now, Luke played in those Negro baseball leagues prior to joining the majors with the Cleveland Indians in 1949, and he stayed with the team through 1954. His best years, well, 1950, 51, and 52. And in six seasons with the Tribe, he batted 274, 93 home runs. Due to injuries, he retired from Major League Baseball after 1954, but still played in those Negro Leagues for a while. Now, when Big Luke's playing days were over, he went to work at TRW in Euclid, Ohio, and even became a union steward. But sadly, folks, March 29th, 1979, would sadly be Easter's last day, not only at TRW, but on Earth as well. That was the day, a Thursday, that Luke was making his bi-weekly run to the Cleveland Trust Bank on East 260th Street in Euclid. And he was carrying roughly $35,000 in payroll checks, which he intended on cashing at the bank and then bringing back to TRW. However, on that fateful day, Victor Pritchett, 32, and Roderick Thomas, 31, himself a TRW employee, pulled a shotgun on Easter as he exited the bank and demanded the money. But Big Luke said no go, wouldn't turn the money over. These thugs shot him, killed him, and uh, later on they were apprehended and convicted of murder and given life sentences. Now, scumbag Pritchett died in prison in 1995, and if Roderick Thomas is still alive, he's around 70 today. And even though Luke Easter didn't have a great career with the Cleveland Indians, he is known for hitting the longest home run ever in Cleveland Municipal Stadium, a 477-foot drive off Washington Senators pitcher Joe Haynes in a game the Indians won 13-4 on June 23, 1950. In fact, that day, Easter went 2-4 for four with actually two home runs, three runs scored, and six RBIs, and obviously to the joy of almost 27,000 fans in attendance that night. But it was a tragic ending for Big Luke Easter, March 29th, 1979, and he's right here in Highland Park Cemetery on Chagrin Boulevard in Highland Hills, Ohio, just a hop, skip, and a jump from Collinwood. Hey, check us out on YouTube. This is your Christian reporter, Sonino John Paul Scarletti. Thanks for watching. God bless you. I'll see you later. Heading back to Collinwood right now.